Hello, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through A Course of Miracles, The Daily Lessons, and today we're on Workbook Lesson 243. I, I like this lesson a lot. Today I will judge nothing that occurs. Today I will judge nothing that occurs. I will be honest with myself today. I will not think that I already know what must remain beyond my present grasp. I will not think I understand the whole from bits of my perception, which are all that I can see. Today I recognize that this is so, and so I am relieved of judgments that I cannot make. Thus do I free myself and what I look upon to be in peace as God created us. Father, today I leave creation free to be myself. I honor all its parts in which I am included. We are one because each part contains your memory, and truth must shine in all of us as one. I'll read this again. Today I will judge nothing that occurs. Today I will judge nothing that occurs. I will be honest with myself today. I will not think that I already know what must remain beyond my present grasp. I will not think I understand the whole from bits of my perception, which are all that I can see. Today I recognize that this is so, and so I am relieved of judgments that I cannot make. Thus I do myself and what I look upon, uh, sorry, thus I do free myself and what I look upon to be in peace as God created us. Father, today I leave creation free to be itself. I honor all its parts in which I am included. We are one because each part contains your memory and truth must shine in all of us as one. This is a great lesson. It dovetails nicely with some lessons that I've been studying from Matt Kahn, which he asks us to consider what if nothing is wrong? And I, I think that that is basically the point of this lesson. If everything is divinity, if everything is a function of the greater mind, of the one, how can anything be wrong in that world? It doesn't make sense that divinity would create wrongness. And so, what this lesson is suggesting is that our, it's our judgments that bring us our misery. It, it's our beliefs that we know when we don't. So, Father, today I leave creation free to be itself. I honor all parts in which I am included. We are one because each part contains your memory, and truth must shine in all of us as one. Now, that doesn't mean that we look at the past and we say it's okay, right? Because as I'm reading this, there are people protesting, right? All around the world, not just in America now, but all around the world, people are protesting racial injustice, systemic racism, systemic cultural prejudices bigotry, hatred. And so it's easy to look out at the world and go, oh, let's look at all these things that are wrong. But if all of that is a creation of divinity, by divinity, then it is a gift. There is a reason. There's a reason those things occurred and there's a reason these things are occurring now. And it's for us to become our divinity. It's for us to be step into who and what we really are 
which historically we have not functioned that way. We have functioned as disembodied human beings, actually human doings, doing things and thinking that we know what we're doing when we don't. So today, I hope that you really embrace this lesson and understand, allow creation to be free itself and really each of us figure out who we are in that creation. Where is your love? How are you expressing it? So I hope you have a great day with this lesson today. If you need me, you can reach out to me through Facebook or YouTube, or you can message me at 907-351-3003. And I will hope to see you here again tomorrow for the next daily lesson. Namaste and much love.